Yes, I'm at one of the control centres for the Large Hadron Collider. It's built in a giant tunnel here, deep underground, and it's a bit like a time machine designed to look back at the very origins of the universe. Now, scientists here will be glued to their computer screens over the next few hours, looking for those crucial signals that the machine is working and the science can begin. It is perhaps the biggest mystery of all what happened in the Big Bang over 13 billion years ago. Here on the French-Swiss border, experts hope to find some answers. The project is based in a giant circular tunnel 100 metres underground. Particles are fired round it in both directions at close to the speed of light. The collisions recreating the conditions moments after the birth of the universe. It's one of the biggest scientific experiments the world has ever seen. And it all begins right here with a simple bottle of hydrogen gas. This is a replica. The real one is inside this high security cage. A lot of the equipment here is at a very high voltage. Now inside, the gas molecules are broken apart to produce a beam of tiny particles called protons. 100 million million protons a second are sent whizzing down this pipe into an accelerator and off into the Large Hadron Collider. The huge collider has taken years to build and cost billions, but it could discover strange new particles and even new dimensions, revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos. With this machine, we know we'll open a door to a deeper understanding. We don't know what's going to be through the door, but we know it will do that. So it's incredibly exciting. But the powerful particle collisions could create black holes. So is there a danger they'll destroy the planet? I asked one of the world's most famous scientists what he thought. Collisions at least in greater energies occur millions of times a day in the Earth's atmosphere, and nothing terrible happens. The world will not come to an end when the LHC turns on. And the discoveries to come should provide new insights into our world. Now, this is pure, basic, cutting-edge scientific research, but there could be practical applications too in electronics, engineering and computing, for example. In fact, it was basic research from this very laboratory that led to the creation of the World Wide Web that so many of us use today.